Hey everybody, it's Aaron Blaze here, and today I thought I'd get us off the computer, get away from the, the monitor today, and just get back to some traditional drawing and painting. So I thought I'd take some of you guys that are maybe just getting started in drawing, um, and maybe experimenting with charcoal and that sort of thing, and show you some basics. Um, today I'm doing a, a little bit of drawing in charcoal. I've got regular vine charcoal, like you can get in any art store. Um, and I've done a quick sketch right here on the uh, on my pad. Uh, I'm using newsprint, which takes charcoal really well, and it's a little bit off-white, which means I can go in later with some white uh, Conte or white pencil and bring out highlights. But what I want to focus on today is um, the importance of your eraser. Now, what I've got here is a kneaded eraser. Once again, you can pick up at any art store, and you know they stretch out, and and uh, they're really <laughs> they're kind of fun to play with. But I want to talk about the eraser as a drawing tool. Your eraser can be a really great drawing tool. And I want to show you today. So um, I've done this drawing of this gorilla. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to get in here. And one of the things I like to do is once I've sketched out the drawing with my vine charcoal, I like to rub it down. All right, so light, I'm going to lighten up the drawing because I'm rubbing away some of that excess charcoal. And then what I do is I take a, a a harder uh, charcoal pencil and I go in and I do do my detailed drawing like you see here then once that's done this is my process once that's done then I like to go in and I want to tone it okay and this is where the importance of the eraser is going to come in and I'll show you but the first thing I'm going to do that I'm going to grab a different piece a little bit smaller just take a new piece of charcoal and watch I'm just going to come in here whoops I just dropped it I'm just going to come in here, I'm going to start rubbing it down and darkening the whole thing. Let's go get a little softer piece. There we go. I want, I want it to be a little darker. And you're going, oh my gosh, what are you doing, Aaron? You're, you're going to ruin it. Well, I'm not. Watch. We're just going to darken the whole thing. I'm getting some nice tone in here. I'm just going over right over that drawing. I'm going to grab another piece because I just went right through that. This is a little harder. I've got some more pieces over here. You want to make sure you don't squeeze them too hard because they'll break in your hands like they're, they're doing with me right now. So you can see what I've done. I'm going to go in, I'm just going to lightly lightly rub some of this charcoal out. This is you know, my technique. I like to do this. And if you can look, if you see, you can faintly see the drawing underneath. Okay? There. So now, I've gone in and I've kind of darkened the background, darkened the paper. Now this is where the eraser comes in handy and becomes your drawing tool. I'm gonna to go ahead and just take a little piece of my eraser because I like to work with just little chunks because it's a uh, big piece because kind of gets kind of unwieldy. First thing I wanna do is I, I, want, I wanna have the gorilla kind of sitting behind a, uh, in front of a light background and so watch. I just come in with my eraser and I can come in and start pulling out. This is where the drawing part of it comes in. I'm going to start pulling out my highlights, my light areas that I want to be lighter. And I want this up here, I want this to kind of fade into a little bit of a darker area. But already, I'm just going to pull out some of these light areas and I got to constantly knead the eraser because it picks up, it'll pick up the, uh, the charcoal and then it stops erasing very well. So I just got to constantly be cleaning the eraser, but you can see it starts to pull out some of these light areas. I'll pull that down there. And you can get really kind of creative with where your lights and your darks go. I'm going to get a little cleaner with this. You can see I'm getting right in there. I 
There. See, it's, it has a, kind of a really great feel to it. I'll pull out some lights there. I'm going to pull out maybe just a little bit over here. This part over here, I mainly want to go into dark. But I want this, I want this up here to, to pop. So I'm going to pull these pull this light out and I can the other thing that's really cool about this is that I can I can let these edges kind of go blurry and simulate kind of fine fur there let's just there we'll just do that now look at that that's already feeling pretty good now now I can go in on the gorilla itself and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna start hitting little highlights. You can see where I'm pulling out some lights along the lips. I'm going to pull out some light areas along the nose. There. I'm going to start working along here. I want that eye to feel like it's in shadow. So I'm just going to work, I'll pull out these highlights along here. I'm also working on getting the textures of the skin to stand out at this point. You can get, I can get light and shadow in there as well. And then right along here, I know I want some light areas. But see how cool this, is, this works already? Pulling out some highlights on the ears. Right along in here, I want, I want that to come into light. The light is kind of coming off the form of the, of the upper part of the muzzle there. So I'm gonna let that get really light. And so I'm just using, I'm not using any other drawing tool other than my eraser, see? And so your eraser can be just as powerful a tool as your pencil. It's, uh, you know, I'm thinking about light and dark, thinking about my values, values meaning light and dark. A dark value is a dark color. Right in here, I want some nice silvery fur. So I'm going to pull this out to start erasing but I'm trying to keep that fur texture, you see, and I can be fairly loose with it. Come right in there. This is all, you know, I, I don't labor over it. Once again, I want some nice fur texture in there. I'm using some reference that I've, uh, I shot at the San Diego Zoo a few years ago of this female lowland gorilla and I just thought this was a nice pose, some nice, um, nice silhouette to her. This, this fur is really catching some light so I want to pull these, these lights out. It's really getting some nice texture in there. There we go. And you can see how well this eraser works with picking up the form. It's really thinking about, you know, your light and shadow, where light hits, where it doesn't hit, and where it doesn't hit, obviously, that's where your charcoal is going to be and you're not going to erase. I'm erasing all the areas that are light and pulling out those highlights. So you can see we're already, and I haven't even put my deep darks in. Right now, all that's down is what we call a mid-tone. And that, that fur tends to be a little darker, but she's got a lot of different values in there. Once again, values, light and dark. We've got the mid-tone, and right now we're working the highlights, the light areas, with the eraser. And then we'll go in 
and add the darks with our dark charcoal pencil. And that's where it starts to feel a little bit more balanced and really starts to come to life. So you can see that the, ed the top part of her head is going to catch light. This part back here on the back of her neck is catching some light. There's light coming off her back right here. So I'm going to pick that up with the eraser. Once again, we're not using any anything but our eraser. And we're letting that, that drawing that we did earlier, that I did earlier, I'm letting that drawing really do a lot of the work for me. It's really, it's kind of my roadmap for where I pull the highlights out and where I don't. And that's one thing I want to stress again. I, you've, you've heard me talk about it in my other videos, but the importance of just really good drawing. You, the better you can draw, the better your draftsmanship that a, the better off you're going to be for painting, um, charcoal drawing like we're doing here, or anything, anything that you want to do that's really represent, representational and requires, you know, some drawing accuracy. And you really get good at it just by doing it a lot. But, you know, this, this drawing that I did, I spent a little bit of time making sure that it was accurate because I knew that coming in here and erasing and pulling out my highlights and creating a form, that drawing was going to was going to be the the kind of the scaffolding. It's the roadmap for where I do that. So I want it to be as accurate as possible. So you want to you want to be really accurate in your drawing. Um, and the other thing too I want to mention is that you know don't accuracy doesn't mean you have to be super super tight and. Uh, and really kind of chisel the drawings. You can be loose and free and lay it down fairly quickly, but you want to make sure that you're laying it down accurately. And that's, that's one of my biggest things that I try to teach young artists is that be loose, but be accurate. Loose doesn't mean messy. And a lot of, a lot of young artists will think that, you know, they're being loose and they're being free and, and in reality, they're just throwing down a bunch of lines and not really thinking about them. And you really have to, you really got to think about what you're doing as you're doing it. And so I'm going in here now and look how the light really defines that form. See now how we're really pulling out some nice light areas. Like so. I'm just going to finish up a couple little light areas in here. And this, you know, this doesn't have to be, a, you know, super rendered and finished. And I actually, I don't want this to be super rendered. I want it, I want to feel the drawing. And so I'm going to take this to a certain finish with my dark middle and light. But then I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm going to pick some areas to to render and maybe a couple areas to, to just leave nice and loose. And uh, definitely want to pull this out, pull these lights out in here. There we go. I'm going to hit some light areas in here. Drawing with our eraser, it's pretty cool. And it's very fast. You can see how quickly you can achieve form in your drawing with just your eraser. It's got a great feel to it. So there we go. So I've I've uh, I've laid in my light areas and started defining that form with my eraser. I'm just going to finish up cleaning up some of these lighter areas that I want to pull out. The other thing to, to note is, you know, back at the, that early stage when I rub, when I laid down these, these charcoal, this charcoal mid-tone, you want to be sure that when you do rub it in, or when you smooth it out, I should say, you don't want to rub it in. When you smooth it out, you don't want to do it, you don't want to rub it in, like I just said, because it, um, you won't be able to erase it back. And make sure your hands are clean too. You don't want to have any oil on your hands, finger grease, that sort of thing, because um, 
especially with newsprint, you'll get little grease spots on there and it'll darken the charcoal too. So there we go. So that's kind of a cool, you can see I've got some form there. That's kind of a cool feel. There. And then now I can come in and I can start to darken. Actually, you know what? I want to pull out. I want to pull out one more highlight area. Right along the brow here. Not super highlighted, but I want to pull out just enough. There. That feels better. Then you can come in with my dark pencil and you can see now I can get into my deeper darker shadows. I want those, that eye to be a nice deep shadow. Just like so. I can come in here start adding shadow in here adding some of this texture once again I'm being you know fairly quick with it my thing is that you know I don't like to spend a lot of a lot of time on my drawings I, I, I get impatient so I um, I have somewhat of a, a loose quick style and that's purely because I'm not patient and uh, my kids will tell you that I'm not patient but uh, I just like to move quickly and get on to the next thing I've, I've got a, a million things in my head that I want to draw and uh, so I don't like to spend time really rendering detail I know a lot of people do and that's wonderful and I I wish I had that that patience to do it. and sometimes I do but but most of the time I like to get an image down get it out of my head get it down on the canvas or the paper or the or the computer screen and then move on so here we go you can see I'm you know adding this shadow this darker area with my dark charcoal pencil under the under the chin and I've already laid in I've already laid in you know my uh, my light areas and the form now is really you know we've got our mid-tone getting some texture for the lips we've got our mid-tones we've got our our light areas and now we're laying in these darks charcoal is, does not have to be scary it can be very quick very easy it's one of the oldest forms of creating imagery. I mean, think about think about the cavemen that sat around the fire and pulled out an old piece, burnt piece of wood, and started scraping it on a on the cave wall. I mean, it's about as original a, a, a drawing piece of equipment as you can imagine. So here, just finishing up refining. You can see that that form is really starting to come together now. And it really just happened really in a matter of minutes. I'm going to pick out a couple of areas in here to, on, the, uh, on the face to emphasize a little bit to so get some skin texture. So that's using your eraser in, uh, in drawing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and I'll show you the finished product in just a little bit. Okay, well folks, so you can see I've gone in and I've finished it all up. Um, so if you remember where it started, it just started out as that, that single line drawing and I laid down all that dark tone and using just this eraser started pulling out those highlights. And I've since gone in 
with some of my darks and added a little texture, but it was actually very little work. And you can see just by hitting the right dark areas, but letting those areas that I've erased, you can see down in here and in the fur textures, letting those come through and really let that form really shine. And because this is off-white paper, I've been able to go in and pull out a little bit of highlights with some white charcoal. So use your eraser. It's really, it's a great, it's a great drawing tool. It's not just a tool to erase mistakes. Matter of fact, I, I rarely ever use it to erase mistakes. I, uh, I very often use it as a drawing tool. So I hope you learned something and until next week, have fun drawing. Bye.